There are some exciting customizations that you can do with the uh, standard WooTheme storefront blog uh, page as well, plus your individual posts. But we're going to start with just the blog page. So here is the default blog page layout that you get with WooTheme, WooTheme storefront, and it looks lovely. Uh, but we've built some extra exciting customization options in here. So we've gone to the customizer, click on blog here. We've got two sections, the archives and single post. We're going to start with archives. So this is the default layout, but you can change the layout. <clears throat> so if you want a featured image on the left, you can select that option. And then down here, you can select how many, so you can create these nice post grids essentially. Uh, you can create these nice post grids with how many posts and how many columns you want. So I've just selected three, but let's go back to two, like so. And can you see how it's now creating this nice sort of magazine layout for me? Uh, you can change the heading colors in here if you want to. So let's just change those to black and you can change the heading size. So you can be very precise over uh, how you design these. You can also change where this featured image goes so you can have it centered. See how it's now centered in the middle. And again, if you want to change the grid layout, you can change that to three posts, like so. Very smart. But you can also change the featured image to be over on the right. So you can change these layouts extremely easily. You can also change whether to show the excerpt or the full post down here. So tons and tons of controls into um, creating the layout that you want within your blog. And once you're happy, just click Save and Publish. You can also, though, customize individual posts. So let's just click on uh, one of these posts here, this one here, and that'll take me to the post. So again, we're looking at the, this is now the standard layout of a the full post itself. Uh, but we give you some other options to define and customize this, this layout further. So for example, we can select this option here, which is full width layout. And that'll just take the image and make that full width across the top here. See how we've got this beautiful full width image and then the post content underneath. Uh, can you see how we've got these breadcrumbs up here? Now, if you want to turn those off, we can do that in content, um, content elements, and we can just hide breadcrumbs on posts. And you'll see that I'll just get rid of those up there. So you, you get this beautifully clean uh, blog post layout now. Looks absolutely stunning. Let me just show you that. If I save and publish and then click on any of these, you'll see that each one now has this beautiful full width um, post layout. So there's my new magazine layout that I've created for my archive, for my blog page, and then individual posts have these wonderful full width layouts for the post. Uh, there are a few other options in here as well though. So go back to blog, single post. You've got this other option here and what that will do, it will take the post heading and it'll actually put it within this big featured image. And as you scroll, can you see how we've got this nice soft parallax effect going on here? And can you see how that title then fades out as you scroll up? So again, you can change your heading colors and the heading size within here. Uh, once you're happy, just click Save and Publish. And again, that works throughout all your posts. It's a very beautiful effect. So let's go back to the news one. Click on this one here and you'll see how that takes that title and just pops it in the middle there. Absolutely stunning. And just show you one more. Let's look at this one here, Winter Journey. And again, can you see how that heading is now put in the middle of that featured image? And as you scroll up, um, it just gently fades away. So that's some beautiful layout options that you've got for your blog archive page, your main blog page, and also your individual posts pages as uh, posts as well.